Hi, this is Prince, over 16 years old. Today, I'm going to describe about the very holy festival of our Hindu religion that is called Chhat Puja. We all know that the Chhat Puja is mostly celebrated in UP, Bihar, and Jharkhand. But nowadays, it is the totally expanded, and now in all over part of world, we are celebrating the Chhat Puja because everywhere nowadays, Bihari and many Indian people are live. That's the reason Chhat festival is going to be a global festival for I think all over the world. Just like we have to see there's a many clips on social media where in America people are doing Chhat Puja. Okay, so that is the very good things of our festival. And the one thing I want to say, Chhat Puja is not a, just a festival for Biharis or Indians people. It is a source to meet up the all family members for three days or two days. Because we have to see in Jharkhand, UP and Bihar, there's a many in a family member, there's a two or three members, they are living in a other country, they are living in a other state for work, okay. But in the Chhat Puja, they will be definitely come in their home. Why? Because they want to spend their time with their family. They want to celebrate this festival with them, their family. So that is, I think, it is a source to meet up the all family members. And I think for a person to meet a family from one year for two days or three days, it is the best gift of everywhere. That is the beauty of our Hindu religion. And I want to, uh, I want to do something that uh, Chhat Puja, uh, Chhat Puja is not a, just a easy festival. It is a very tough festival for uh, our our Hindu religion because we have to see there our our mothers and our uh, also fathers are doing uh, uh, my our fathers and mothers are doing uh, three days or four days fasting. So that's the reason because without uh, eating anything and without uh, without drinking uh, a top of water we cannot survive more days. But still our mothers and fathers doing the Chhat Puja why because of their son. Okay, so I think that is the priority of us because we have to respect them basis of this church. And this and this festival and this festival will be definitely teach you the more thing which you cannot learn from the any institute, which you cannot from the any any university. So I think we must should be celebrated that festival with the all uh, with the all them. And the one thing that in a chat puja we are also use the firecrackers on the uh, on the river and that is the very good because we did not get a time in our whole year to celebrate the firecrackers so that's the reason we are uh, we we use firecrackers on a uh, river and that is a very good thing because that is the happiness source of childs who are 5 years old who are 10 years old and also after the uh, after the last day of church means second day when we are the worship of Ma, uh, when we are, uh, sorry when we are worship the lord uh, Sunday in the uh, sunrise. So that is the very good thing and we get the very good sweets that is called Thekua. Yeah, yes, yeah. whenever we get the word of, whenever whenever we get the Thekua then on that time I don't know why but our face is totally happy without any reason. We cannot find what is the reason but just imagine that your mother is come and he just give you the Thekua just take it and on that time Without uh, any word, you just get your happiness on your face. I think that is the, that is means that is a very huge moment and that is a very fabulous moment in my whole life. And uh, and the one thing that in a Chhat Puja we are worship of uh, Ma Chhati, uh, Chhati Maya and also worship of Lord Sir, uh, Sir, Sun God. And that is the that is the beauty of our Chhat Puja because no one uh, in in a whole country no one is uh, no one is worship the sunset. Uh, sun but still we are we are worship the sunset of sun yeah, in the first first day of chat puja so i think that is the beauty of our chat puja that's all about it thanks for listening carefully <laughs>